forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Mr. Rai Alpha 19. Now as you guys know we're going to be facing the day 42 horde. And I just want to show you guys this. We're still on warrior difficulty, nightmare speed and 64 zombie spawn. So hopefully with all of this, uh, the base holds. <laughs> we can, remember, we took out the barbed fencing so we can see if the zombies can get closer to us so we can actually get a good shot and a good look at the zombies. And then also after this horde base, you're going to start designing our own. And I'll really have an uh, awesome idea for what I want to do for our horde base. So yeah, let's see. Uh, and I think it's about 9.35 in game at the moment. So let's just hope. I'm just going to put my bike down, put some frames up and then... Get rid oh, also I need to switch on the switches for the electricity. Otherwise the zombies will be able to get all the way to me and not shock at all. And that's going to be a problem. Also guys, just a reminder. Um, I do have a Facebook page. Uh, this is reloaded. This is for vultures. Also put iron bars in there. But I do also have a Facebook page for those of you that, uh, that want to add me on Facebook or go to their Facebook group. Uh, where I da post daily and then also you can post of your channels and stuff like that as well. Just get in a conversation going. Okay, so this is switched on. And this over here, come on, come on, come on, 15 in-game minutes left. I'm going to show you guys what I did with the skill points as well. And come on, switch on. Okay, so now the electric fence posts are on. Uh, I don't think they got any damage. And also, guys, as you can see, this up to here I made steel. So we should be ready for this. And I also went and invested all the skill points we had. And I mostly went for machine gunner, 4 out of 5. So now we can craft, I think, blue quality. Yeah, craft uh, quality 5 great machine guns. So I can make level 5 machine guns, and then what's this one over here? Each shot scored with automatic weapon gives you 6 stamina, damn! So you can actually run and gun with this gun like crazy. Okay, we're just going to put these away, and then put these on us. I want to use these more, this horde. Okay, so this one, this one, and we should be ready. Okay, I do have my expert goggles on. I have armor piercing rounds for my tactical assault rifle. And normal rounds for my AR. Should I need to repair, I can just quickly switch to my AK a little bit. Please go around. Yes, it's working. Nice. I just hope that the zombies don't uh, explode there too much. I want to make sure this time they get as far as possible. And hopefully there's no demolition zombies. If there are, they might just destroy my plans over here. And boom. These guys are getting way further than usual. I'll probably also kill them over here to get some XP. And also, we do have these uh, this drink over here that's going to help us. And add some junkies, it's going to help us with our grenades. And then recog over here, that lasts 5 minutes, that's going to help us with our damage. Ooh, there's a cop right there. And he died from electricity, damn! But guys, I also put a few of the settings down. Um, the lighting, the reflection, I put down as well. Unfortunately, that was actually having a huge effect on the frame. That's why the last few games were statue as hell as well. Come on, you kill these cops. At least the recog is helping you though. I just want to make sure the cops don't explode. Look at that. And throw this. Unfortunately, I didn't disconnect the electric fence post close by. Which might be a little bit of a problem, so I hope it doesn't affect the game too much. Ooh, that spider is actually getting really far. Let's just chuck this one. Boom, and then focus on this guy. Boom, one shot kill. Then look at my XP. 28,008 uh, XP from that. Uh, as you guys saw, it's 200% XP like usual. And also, we're wearing the XP glasses. As soon as we do a proper series um, in stable, uh, it's going to be a modded series, we'll go for 100% XP. Hopefully the mods are a little bit more balanced. Because at the moment, if you don't go 100% XP, you level super, super slow. But they made it so the game isn't as easily clearable. Show that. Pull the pin, throw that again. And it's going to chain. Please chain. That doesn't look like it's chaining anymore, I don't know. I know that for the fact that it lands in the same position, but for some reason it's just not exploding in a chain reaction. Now this guy is dead, let's quickly get those over there. Come on, I want you guys to go for the... I could turn off the electric fence first, and then turn it back on as soon as they get closer. But I don't know if I should take such a chance or not. What do you guys think? Let's test this quickly. This may be the biggest mistake of my life, but to give the zombies a little bit more of a chance, we're going to do this. Although, if I do this now, I give them a chance to get to me through the walls. I should not stand there because they're going to think, Ah, oh, it's that side. Let's break through the wall over here. Fire bomb. Fire bomb. Come on, come on, come on. So now only one is actually shocking them. Just the upper layer, I think. Not the bottom layer. So now what I could do as well is go this side. Turn that off. So now they're not going to shock as much. They're thinking closer. 
And as they're close, just turn it back on again. See, then they're up here in your face. You can actually see them better as well. Let's just light them up a bit. Ooh, man. Okay, so we could technically do this thing on Insanity. But then we are going to have to activate all our defenses over here, I think. Man, the fire effect is awesome. It looks like a flesh is burning. Okay, so let's just go wild over here. Man, this is so awesome. I don't really want to go in on the other side of the wall too much, because if I go there, they might start digging instead. We don't want them digging into the wall. But I do want them to get as close as possible, so I'm going to do it again as soon as these zombies are cleared out. And then as soon as they get to about here, I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, reload. Let's try this again. So, we're going to go turn it off. Wait for them to get close to us. Oh, well. That cop got far. Okay, and... Come on, jump over. Oh, crap. Um, turn it back on. Do this. And do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This might have been a mistake. Ooh, okay. Um, put some fire in there. And then quickly repair this. Okay, this might have been a big mistake. <laughs> okay, they got way too close for comfort over here. But guys, we're going to start going looting with our AK more. We have so many 762 rounds, we cannot afford to. And I'm crafting more 762 armor testing rounds for the horde. And should probably drink one of these again. Oh, hello, doggy. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Boom, and... Yes, okay, cool. So now we can do this again. Um, throw some grenades over here. Man, this fire effect is freaking awesome. And we need to make sure we kill these vultures as well, but the tyrant doesn't seem to be doing its job. Okay, doggy, 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 hello. Man, you are on fire, you're in flames, everything. You're, you're literally smoking. Okay, so let's do this one more time. I think I'm going to throw two grenades and then switch it back off again. I uh, should probably throw close fire as well to kill these zombies. Okay, now we go again. I don't know why I keep bumping my head over here though. I'm not supposed to. Okay, so if I crouch, can I do this? Yes. Turn that off. Let them cl get closer quickly. Oh crap, I just set myself a light. And then quickly get up over here, come on. Jump, 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 jump. This might have been a mistake. Ooh, this was a mistake. I'm still on fire. It's this drink to douse, but I already doused it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Voltage getting through over here. Ooh, this looks bad. This looks bad. That was way too big a chance to take just now. Okay, so. I wonder if I should do that again. But this time I should stand back when I throw the Molotov, I think. It's nice and fun when they're up in your face like this. Come on, come on, come on. Again. Again. I wonder if this one could chain if I throw it like this. Let's try. Throw. Pull the pin. Throw again exactly the same spot. And then quickly go in here. Turn this off. I should actually keep a frame over here so it's easier to deal with the zombies. Or be able to get up here. Okay, so we can do this and chuck it in there. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Ooh, you guys are persistent. Oh, look at this. This is so awesome. He's totally being shocked right through. You should probably also deal with the vultures just in case my turret runs out of ammo. Unfortunately, I can't go to the top because then I'm, uh, the vulture might get, get me or the zombies might go another route. We can't afford that. Damn, they're shocking like crazy over there. Hello, doggy. Let's do this. Let's do this. And... I think I'll turn it off again. Should probably quickly just use one of these. Okay, uh, this might have been a mistake again. Jump up. Do that. Go, 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 go. Ooh, this looks awesome. This looks epic. Just pick that up so I can see what's going on over here. At least I haven't even broken the steel yet, and this is supposed to be warrior difficulty. So that's what I'm saying, next, uh, next horde might just be insanity mode. This 
is insane. Okay, repair this gun. Okay, before I turn it back off again, I'm gonna throw some fire so it looks cool when they run down the hallway. Use this. Make sure I kill the whole hallway over here first. Okay, and then... Use this. Chuck it there. Okay. So turn this off. Uh, this vulture is getting in the way. I was just looking at a fire in the hallway, that's so awesome. And then quickly turn back on. Boom! See, this way you can at least see the zombies, they're not so far away. With the new defense, the zombies are going to be way, way closer to us, so it's easier to see them as well. Now this pulse, I think, my turret's out of ammo. Okay, anyways, look at all these bags, damn! This is so awesome! And this is actually holding properly. Guys, this is the uh, best defense you can have in a game where you don't want to cheese it. Because this is no cheese, this is zombies do have a pass to you, you just have electricity over here. The wedge tip uh, base design is just a little bit too much um, exploiting the game. This one I love. Just look at this. Boom! I should probably get my junky one up again. I have pipe bombs over here and I still have my rocket launcher. Come on, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. At least this thing hops. It, does, it doesn't just go and land like the contact grenade. This one hops and goes past the zombies as well. So some zombies survive, some don't. Come on, kill, 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 kill. And then do this. Pull, throw. Pull, one more time, throw there in the back. This gun reload. Come on, jump up. Why can't I jump in over here? It gets stuck sometimes. Okay, so if I can see this thing above me, I'll quickly try and kill it. Hello, hello, hello zombies, and let's quickly put this on again. I want to be able to have that switch way closer to me. It's too far away at the moment. Okay, let's try a few pie bombs over here. Just on the other side, and it can actually blow them to pieces. Oh crap, that's close to me. I need to watch out, I don't actually need to blow myself up. Man, this is so damn awesome. I love this, I love this, I love this. And there's still a chance of the zombies getting to you if they come in force. So if there was twice the amount of zombies, we might just have a problem. This is so epic. Okay, and where's this vulture? Hello. I hear you, I hear you. I don't want to have you break through over here. That's going to dampen the mood over here so far. Okay, so if we had more Molotovs, we could have some more light shows over here. And I should probably also drink a bit, because my recog is taking away a ton of water. That is so unfortunate. Do this again, and then one recog. Like so, just to do that extra amount of damage. Ooh, that's the first top explosion. No, 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 no. Reload, reload, reload. Look how fast this clears the hallway. Damn. Goes to show recog and the machine gunner and the penetrator skill does a ton to help. Those three in conjunction with, this utter, uh, with each other is amazing. Five skill points to spend, and that means we can now get ourselves a gyrocopter, I think. Come on, kill these zombies. I could even start the horde over should I have uh, should I want to. That's how good we're doing at the moment. Come on, get all of them, get all of them. Let it hop down the hallway of the earth. And this spider is actually really getting far. It seems the spiders are the, the tougher ones. Because of the way they move, I think. Okay, so all vultures down. Technically, you only need one layer of electric fence post, it seems. Especially with this defense. You don't need the double one. The double one does look cool, though. I think for my next hold base, I'm only gonna do the bottom fl uh, floor. I'm gonna leave space for a second one, should we need it later. But it should only need the bottom one because they're all shocking, anyways. And then with um, half the electric fence post, there should be more zombies be able to get to you. So it's gonna be a little bit more fun as well. Now at the moment, they're not even getting close. Oh wow, they're actually starting to get close. <laughs> I spoke too soon, damn. These are the tough ones, I tell you. Okay, any more zombies? Huh? Okay, clear. So that means we can put the power back off. 
so we can walk there and loot the corp uh, not loot the corpses loot the bags i should actually get the one more uh, jumping skill so i can crouch over here and jump without having to put a frame okay let's go let's go let's go I should probably put my bike upstairs so it's easier to put all my stuff away. Well, my bike is upstairs. So I'm just going to put all my horde stuff in the bike. And that means ammo, ammo. I only need the shotgun really right now. Uh, okay, that's fine for what stays on me. Uh, let's put this one over here, here, and that should be fine for now. Okay, let's use one of these. Guys, I didn't even realize how much damage I had at one point. The damage the zombies deal is insane. Okay, and I almost forgot. We do still have the Lucky Looter goggles over here. So I'm just quickly going to put that on. Lucky Looter. And then let's wear that and use one of the eye candies. These eye candies are bought when I went to other traders quickly to check if um, they perhaps had blue. And I actually got a ton of blue. I, I actually repaired most of the stuff. But now we can use eye candy on the loot over here. That's awesome. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Um, why is this happening? Stand up. I can't stand, I can't stand, I can't stand. I'm gonna die. What the hell is happening over here? I can't move. Jump up. And I'm not taking any damage, That's, I think this is bad. I'm not taking any damage at all. Um, what if I keep walking? Yeah, I'm not taking any damage so I could go. Unless I have some protection against... No, okay. Oh, the top one's still working. Okay, so one of the switches was not properly turned off, but as you guys can see, if you crouch, you can go under. But why wasn't I taking any damage just now? That is so weird. Um, health recovery. Is it because of this? No, it can't be. I, I can't believe that that's all it uh, takes to not shock. There has to be something bugged with the game right now. Because literally, I'm not in god mode or anything like that, and I didn't take any damage just now. I could have sworn I turned both off, so I'm not... Oh, wait, the one side was off the whole time. The last bit, the zombies actually only had one line shocking them. So I think I accidentally just turned it back on. That makes sense. Okay, so I need to jump on the uh, right of here. I think this one I just accidentally turned on. Okay, that makes sense. For a moment, I was like, why the hell am I shocking? Okay, so this is from my grenades and stuff. This time, no blocks got destroyed. One cop exploded, but that's still acceptable. Nice. Okay, now why is there a loot bag right here? That I had to have dropped through the floor. And the floor is taking punishment, so we might have to upgrade the floor at least. Okay, I just want to check over here if I was right. Did I accidentally turn this back on just now? I just have this feeling I did. Um, okay, so we need to go that way. I blocked this off so zombies from this side can't jump on towards me. Did I turn this on? Yes, I did. Okay, so this one was off. That makes sense. Because I only had to turn this one on and off to make the zombies get closer. So, at the end of the horde, I accidentally switched this one back on when it was already off. I just don't have... I don't know why I didn't take any damage. Does it not do damage to you? What's going on? Okay, anyways, uh, we have some treasure maps over here. The loot on this horde is actually really, really low. I don't know about you guys. But this is all the loot we got. So, I don't know why we got so little. We're supposed to get way more loot than this, in my opinion. Okay, so that's all we need right now. Drink. Also, guys, I do know that beer uh, has stun resist, right? And it's for brawling, for uh, for like physical punching and stuff. But that's about it, right? There's no other real recipe or reason to have any of that on you. I mean, especially since I never get stu really, really get stunned. And also, I know I never go with fists, so there's no point in me wearing that. Okay, so we're going to drive off the roof over there. Let's quickly grab our turret, and... They barely did any damage over here. Then again, I don't have a repair tool on me, so I wanted to check what the dam what damage is to over there. But, if you take into account as well... Okay, so that did take a little bit of damage. Um, you take into account as well, my turret was here, so it was killing the vultures. Only at the end did it actually start running out of ammo. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. And remember, if you jump off a roof, guys, hold S, the S key, to do a wheelie. Yeah, there you are, almost. Still a little bit of a nosedive over there. But yeah, we're going to make our own base, guys. It's going to be a lot smaller than this one. Um, I was thinking that it's going to be... I don't know. I, I wanted to make it on this side, but the only real place to make it then will be right about yeah, in between all the buildings. And do I really want it here? I could also put it at the back of here, but the ground, like I said, isn't really all that flat. 
this is a perfect place then because it's a massive open field. But there is a little bit of a decline. Oh, yeah, you can actually see the dirt go down right here. So there is a slope. And I don't want to build on a slope because that's too much of a chance of zombies being able to get to me. And remember I said from now on, every time you see a wolf or anything, kill it. We need the bones. Oh, that's bad shooting, John. Shoot better. Okay. Um. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't have my axe on me, so we're going to have to do this now. I'm not going to get a ton of meat, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, since it's a bladed weapon, I think I just got a ton from it. But yeah, what I might just end up doing, guys, is breaking down this whole PRI over here. Just need to make sure I've placed my bedroll and everything else down. Uh, but I'm going to break this down. And also, ooh, that's another reason we're not getting too much lag. The grass, as you guys can see, the grass distance isn't that far. Because when there's too much grass loading, it just causes way too much lag for me. But yeah, oh. Ooh, oh yeah, we, I forgot we didn't really loot this town yet. But yeah, I'm going to uh, convert this into my base. So we're going to make uh, place a land claim block. We're going to put our bedroll. And then hopefully zombies don't respawn over here. They shouldn't. Because this base is going to be small enough to fit under my bedroll. I just I love the fact that we can jump so high right now. Okay, how much of this can we put on us? I think not all of it, right? No, all of it. Okay, cool. That saves us a little bit of time. I'll just quickly put a, stuff, a few things away over here. And also, guys, we have so much resource. Remember, I went mining before the horde. I have over here other ores, a ton of coal and nitrate because I actually found a... Uh, as, uh, as soon as I got enough nitrate over there, I went for coal over there. And you guys can actually see it on the map because that whole place caved in. So streamers were able to see me, I was able to level up from that, and it was just run about, it was just fun. Over here, sands, um, cement, stone, and uh, what do you call a rebar. Over here, all the other resources, and iron clay over there. And then over here is where I put all my ammos and stuff, and stuff that we use during the horde, like the AK. But like I said, I wonder if we shouldn't take the AK with us. Because, uh, especially when we get overrun by zombies, this thing's damage per second isn't fast enough. So if we have the AK on us... We might be able, and we do have a ton of ammo, so why not? If we have the AK on us, we don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, that goes in there. Just make sure I drop everything ward related. Um, I think that's it. I want to make sure we don't have too much stuff on us as well. We don't want to be encumbered at the moment. We're actually way too encumbered for my liking. Okay, put all that away. I'm gonna have, I'm, I'll grab everything back after. I think I put all my stuff in here that needs to go with me. And we have some eye candies over here. Didn't even realize I put some away and keep, I kept some on me. But it helped during the horde, so why not? Okay, over here is... Ooh, M60! Level 5! I didn't even realize we looted that. So that makes up for the fact that we got so little of everything. Damn, and also guys, my Desert Vulture was uh, over here. So that's why I thought I sold it last time. But I didn't, it was okay, it was cool. But yeah, damn, we just got an awesome M60. See, that's what happens when you loot too fast. You don't realize what great items you sometimes loot. Okay, drop a ton of stuff there. That is a schematic, unfortunately. Recog, and we used all the grenades. Pipe bombs? Eight left. Damn, that's very, very low. Also, over here, as you guys can see, I did a little bit like this. I sorted my clothing uh, up to green level. Over here, we have all our schematics. I should actually use my 4x4 to go to the trader, and we can grab all the stuff and just sell it, and we'll be clear. Um, repaired all my tools over here. And then also repaired most of the guns over here. And then obviously the rest of the stuff we're going to have to put over here for now. We have two repair kits left. So I'm not going to repair anything at the moment. Which means anything that might need repairs I'm going to put down here instead of with their color group. Just so that I know it's there. I don't have to worry about it later. Over here as well. Clothing that needs repairs. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, technically that can go in here. Okay. And we are wearing our Lucky Ludo goggles, right? Yes. Okay, this book doesn't have a companion over there. We just, like I said, guys, need to make sure all of these books are read. Sometimes I loot and I don't even realize I pick up a book that we still needed. Okay, all of this is miscellaneous and the ton parts go over here. Oh, over here. Like so. Yeah. Okay, wait, is this a schematic or is this an actual... Yeah, it's a schematic. This is also a schematic and just quickly drop, I'm going to drop everything off of here. Boom. Okay, uh, cash goes in this one over here. The trader resets day 43. Yeah, it's day 43. So all the traders have now reset. So we could technically go uh, quickly go make a stop at all the traders. And then what I'm going to do to make sure we get uh, to the other traders faster, once again, I'm going to uh, cut out the time in between here and there. And what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to use my uh, motorcycle. I'm going to put my motorcycle on my 4x4. 
So if after we visit this closest trader, we can just go on the motorcycle towards a new place. Um, yeah, let's just sell this one as is. We need to sell the best quality first. We're going to go to all the traders, but I wonder if I shouldn't just first grab three of each item, go to our trader, come back and grab the stuff, and then go to the other traders. That way there's going to be way more space on us as well. We don't want to run out of space while we're busy. Now these forges, guys, have been busy. 317 steel, 319, 290, 343. And I need to put more wood in here. And then by the time we get back, we're going to have a ton of resources for our build. Okay, um, let's just grab this for now. It's not going to be enough wood, but it should be okay for now. Just want to make sure all the forges are still busy smelting over here. And then I should probably do this as well for this one because the clay is low. Turn it on. Let's, let's by uh, clicking craft, we actually turn it on as well. So let's see. We need iron over here. So we're going to do this. This, half it over here, put that there, and put some of this in here. By the time we get back, we'll have to uh, put more clay in though, because the clay is going to be way too low at that time. Iron is still busy over here, so that's a good thing. We're going to keep it in like that. We have way more clay than iron in this one. And this one over here, same. I'm just going to leave it as is. Just going to put some fuel in there and turn on. Okay. So while we're out and about, we're going to be selling everything, getting rid of most stuff, just sorting our inventory a bit, basically. Uh, we need this one there, 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 and then let's use this one, this one. I should probably put my turret in between these. So it doesn't matter which one I use, I can always put my turret down, I don't have to worry. Okay, put that there, that there. Food, water, oh, did I put my water away? Yep, okay, so we're just going to grab... I wonder if I should grab a stack of 10 or 5. I never know exactly how much is needed. So we can do this. And make sure that the first 13 slots are um, um, immovable. Okay. My 4x4 four four is over here, right? Yes. Okay, so first off, we're going to put down the 4x4 four four so we have the space. And we're going to put the motorcycle in there first. And also, I need to see if I have some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. I think I bought some. I'm not sure. I need to check first. I hope so. That's going to save me so much time as well. Okay, put that there. Put this one here. And quickly grab everything we need. We're going to have to grab a Grandpa's Awesome Sauce if we have. And we're going to have to grab um, that Sugar Bud stuff as well to help with our sales. So, um, that should be over here. Sugar Buds. Two should be enough for now. And then Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Yes, okay. So the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce we're just going to use for that first sale. Because we're going to get a ton of cash doing so. And now, I wonder if I shouldn't keep all the cash here. The coin. That's just going to get in the way because we are going to get more coin now anyways. So this is all sorted, just to make sure we grab the best of the best first. Remember, only three of each item, and then this trader already bought so much from us already, I don't think he's going to buy everything anyways. So we are going to come back with a few items, but then hopefully the other traders want these items. I'm just glad that this 4x4 has so much space. You don't have to worry about anything, just grab what you need, dump it in here, and there's way more than enough space. Although it looks like it is getting pretty decently full over there. I just hope that the uh, Grandpa's Awesome Source lasts because now I put all the guns in first. And so that means I'm going to sell the schematics and the mods first, which might just take up all the space. Um, when we come back, we'll sell the clothing, I think. There's a ton of clothing or cash to be made from it, but it's fine. I should have actually grabbed that instead of the schematics now. But that should be okay for now. We're just quickly going to go to this trader. I wonder if we should do a few trade quests as well because all three are very close by. Although this one's on the way to the other trader, so we could technically stop there and quickly do that on the way. Okay, this trader is right there. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Uh, that sucks. There's a bear right there, so I should probably quickly kill him first. Okay, this sucks. And I only have 57 shots of this thing left, so let's hope I can kill him all with just this gun. Okay, that got way too close for comfort. I'll skin him when we get out. What's the chances when you're spawning right in front of the trader over here? And just get back a little bit. I'm gonna block off the gate so any zombies have a tough time to get into me. No. What did I just do to my 4x4? Okay, so quickly, do I have the Grandpa's Awesome? Yes, we have those on us. I don't think we'll have time to go for the other traders, guys, but um, yeah, we'll see when we can get to them because they have reset. They reset again on day 46. So as long as we get there before then, that's fine. I wonder if I shouldn't first sell. All the schematics I have on me with just sugar butts. And then when I go back and forth with all the other stuff, I'll sell with that. So we need to talk to the trader quickly. So we're just going to sell all the schematics first. 
And then, like I said, when we get back from the... Oh, we're going to grab everything from the 4x4 and then use the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. I don't want it running out before we've actually sold everything. Okay, so that's the first wave of stuff sold. Let's just hope we can grab everything over here. Uh, more or less. Okay, so I'll drop the mods for now. Because we need to sell these first with the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. We should be able to sell them really, really fast. I can quickly drink it now. Unfortunately, these don't last long. If they could last longer... Oh, I just need a farm to make myself some of my own mushrooms. That's the only ingredient we need, we need right now, mushrooms. Okay, so we just saw, uh, did that, so I can quickly do this. Hopefully I sell the best quality first. Yeah, it's going from right to left. So this way I should be able to sell everything that I need over here. Come on, come on, come on. You know what, we might have some skill points. Six, yes. Intellect? If I go into better border a bit more. Uh, that needs to go higher. That needs to be level 10 for the next skill. Okay, and then better body can go one higher. And daring adventure for our quests. Okay, so now we should get even more cash. I should have done that before selling anything. Now we're going to make a killing over here. Imagine if you accidentally end up selling something that's really important over here. Like, for example, my motorcycle is right there. <laughs> Imagine if I accidentally go and sell that. Okay, we can quickly grab the other two mods as well, and then just see what this guy has to offer. Hopefully it has something for us that we need. Like a schematic or something. I mean, at the moment we have so many tokens and very few traders to choose from. So I hope in stable they make the ratio of trader to towns way higher. Okay, we can sell this and this. Doesn't want that. And now let's see what you have. You have ammo and gunpowder for us. That's good. Although I am making a ton of gunpowder, guys. You saw how much stuff we have. So yeah, we don't really need any more gunpowder, but I'm going to buy it anyways. And then Crucible... I wonder if I shouldn't. I mean, I'm going to make my own base again, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, and I might have more mines, more resources. But if this is my last base, then we don't need that much more. Okay, um, all my pissing rounds. No, thank you. Rebar, why not? We're going to be building a ton. Resource, uh, um, tools, that's all mine. The year, what do you have? Just stuff I sold you, right? It's going to suck if there's actually a schematic in there that wasn't um, bought by him. And I could actually buy it, but I can't see it. That's really going to suck for me. Because then I lose out tremendously. Okay, bullet tips, yes. Casings, yes. 762, why not? We're going to use that for our uh, AK when we're running about. Do this, glue, thank you. That's the first time in a long time that one of the traders has actually had glue for me. We need glue, desperately. Okay, and that's all he has for us. Like I said, guys, I don't think we're going to go to other traders now because it's going to take too long. Waste too much time. And then when I check again, all of a sudden the video is way too long because I went way too far. Let's just grab these. And none of these schematics look like they need Thank reading. So next episode, I think they're going to do... We're going to start with our base. So we're going to clear that one uh, pure eye very close to us. And we're going to start with our base. Uh, it's this one over here. And then what I'm going to do from there is... As it's drying or needs drying, whatever, we'll go do a few clear quests and perhaps even visit other traders and sell stuff there. Um, I mean, we need to make more cash, we need more stuff from the traders, perhaps even schematics they might have, so it's worth a check. Where is this zombie coming from now? Ooh, Wandering Horde, hello, hello, hello. I thought I heard something. Yeah, just quickly take care of these guys while we are, uh, why not? I think we already cleared this pure area with the gas station behind us, so we don't have to worry about that. And you're not dead. Boom, and... Oh, there's two zombies still over there. You should be dead. Oh no, you just got pissed. This guy's the only one that rages, uh, rages at me. The rest of them are fine. Okay. So guys, if you like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this Horde Knight? I mean, I had to turn off electric fences just for them to get close to me. So, we might, for the new defense, only use one layer instead of two. But yeah, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.